husband and I are both vaccinated, but my nine-year-old is obviously not yet. Becky Mayo got quite a scare earlier this month when her 16-year-old daughter tested positive for COVID-19 during the first week of school in Montgomery County. Everyone in the home luckily avoided symptoms, but the time away from the classroom made things tough. The 10 days of quarantine, she had to be on a Zoom with someone from the school, and the school had to provide multiple people. With her nine-year-old still unvaccinated, Mayo says she found hope on Monday when Pfizer and BioNTech released a study they said showed the company's two-dose vaccine could now be safe for children 5 to 11. No COVID vaccine has been authorized or approved for young children, but the data will now be submitted to the FDA. The announcement came as schools continue to be impacted by the pandemic. Data from Prince George's County Public Schools shows over 150 cases of COVID-19 reported inside classrooms this month alone. On Monday, the Maryland State Education Association hoped a possible vaccine for children could lead to fewer students needing to quarantine. But it's still an interruption to learning. And so vaccines and more people getting vaccinated hopefully will reduce those interruptions. Shots for young children could still be months away, but parents like Becky Mayo say a vaccine will bring plenty of relief. I'm convinced. I think this is the way to get through. Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.